One of the great things about using Logic is you only have to pay for it once. Now compare that with Ableton or Pro Tools and you'll see what a savings, what an advantage that is to using Logic. Now on the downside, yeah, you're going to have to buy some third-party plugins. Logic just doesn't come as well equipped as, say, Ableton does in the plugins department. So you're going to have to buy some. And once you start doing that, if you look down into your audio units, you're going to see that this can very easily become a little bit crazy, a little bit out of control to find the plugin that you want at that particular moment. But there is a better way or a way to organize this. So if we look into our effects, once again, you'll see there's these folders. And these contain a lot of your plugins. And you can actually control this a little bit. If you go into the preferences, go into the plugin manager, you'll see these same folders right here. And if you want to add a new folder, name it yourself, you can do that just by clicking on this plus sign. Now, I don't need to really create a new folder right now, but what I do need to do is move around some plugins into some folders. So I'm going to type in SoftTube, and I've got some plugins here that I want to add to some folders. For example, I want to put this one in my Dynamics folder, and this one in my Dynamics folder, and the Germanium in my Dynamics folder. And I'll put the curve bender inside my EQ folder. Now, if I close this up and I go back down to my effects, you'll see inside of these folders, I can now find these plugins. It's a quick way to find the plugins that you use the most. Just drop them in a folder, and there you go. Instead of having to go through down to audio units, go through this huge list trying to find the one plugin that you want you now can have them organized inside of here. So there's a quick tip for you Logic users. If you need help becoming more proficient using Logic, hit me up. I'm helping producers all over the country using Zoom and in person at Jan Smith Studios.